This video covers integrating a Next.js app with Builder.io. We'll start with a new Next.js app. We'll add some code, we'll connect to Builder, we'll start building, and we'll do it all in about three minutes. First in the terminal, type in npx create next app. Accept all of the defaults for this example. Then we're going to cd into our new directory and npm install builder react, and then type in npm run dev. Now open your code editor, go into source, pages, and rename the index.tsx file to square bracket, square bracket, dot, 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 page, square bracket, square bracket, dot, tsx. Then go over to the tutorial and copy the code snippet for adding your builder component. And come back into your code and delete what was there and then paste in the new code. In builder, press command K and then copy your API key. Then go back over to your code editor and where it says your API key, select that and delete it and then put in quotes and then paste in your API key. Head back over to Builder and go to Models. We're going to go to the page model and we are going to add the preview URL, which is the URL that the app is running on. Here is localhost 3000. Here I already have a page called Home, but I'll create another one to show you the process. In the content section of Builder, Go over to the new button in the upper right and type in the name of your page. Here, I'll just do home. And I'm going to get rid of this and click create page. And I'm going to choose blank. You can choose whatever you like. Now that we have a page, let's just add a text block here. Drag one in. If you double click on it, it'll open up. That's right. I did it. And we can make it heading one. And then there it is. I will go over to the style tab and let's center it. There we go. And whenever you make changes on your page and you want to see them on localhost, make sure you click publish up here in the upper right. So I'm going to click publish. And now if we go over to localhost, it's there. So now you can just start dragging other stuff in. I'm dragging in a text box here and I'm changing some of the copy and I'm going to drag in a picture, upload a photo. And now we can publish update and go over to the other tab where localhost is running. And there it is. Great job.